Welcome back everyone, AirPods 3 actually just came out. So this is a quick tutorial guide on pretty much how to use your brand new AirPods. Now these are fairly easy, there's nothing super crazy, there's no reason for this video to be 30 minutes long, but as long as you have already taken your AirPods out of the box, you should be in the same situation that I am. So first of all, taking a look around the AirPods, these are Apple's wireless headphones, super popular as everyone may know. Now on the bottom, we do have the lightning port. This is where you're going to go ahead and plug in your iPhone charger, iPad charger, you know, typically if they're the lightning port charger, you plug them in straight down here and then your AirPods case will actually be charging. But a new feature within these AirPods is MagSafe and wireless charging. So previously with the AirPods 2, you could buy a wireless charging case, but not all of them came with it. So if you flip it over to the back, if you ever wanted to wirelessly charge your, you know, AirPods, you can go ahead and actually place them on a MagSafe or wireless charger and they will start wirelessly charging. So if you don't want to use a lightning port, you can wirelessly charge them, which is really cool. Now on top of that, on the back, you will also see this button. Now this is a pairing button slash reset button. I've made several tutorials in my life on my second channel that require so many things with this one little button right here. So if you ever want to reset your AirPods, you hold it down and we'll go ahead and demonstrate that in a second too. Now this is just a magnetic latch, basically holds your AirPods case so they don't just like fall out of nowhere. And that's pretty much it on the outside. Now you will see that we have this little like dot in the center. It's essentially a battery level slash pairing reminder. So if your battery level ever gets super low, it'll go ahead and remind you. If it's green, that means it's charging or it's fully charged or close to fully being fully charged and all that good stuff. So now we can go ahead and open up our AirPods case. So you can grab the little flap right here and go and open them up and you will see your specific AirPods like this. Now within the top, those are literally just, you know, the little places for your AirPods just to not get you know, broken down or anything. So this is not even a feature and you will see your AirPods right here. Now in order to take your AirPods out, you can literally grab them like this and go ahead and take them out like this. You can go and grab the other one, take them out like this as well. Now your AirPods charge via this specific case. So there's no other way to charge your AirPods. So if you look at the bottom, you will actually see the little like connections at the bottom. So you have to remember to place your AirPods in the right direction because if you don't, then they won't charge properly. So just like this, if I go ahead and put this right here, you will see it'll charge. If I go ahead and try to put it in the other way, you can see that it won't fit in properly. You can see it'll just go all over the place. That doesn't mean that, that that's in the wrong connection. So you have to go ahead, take it out again and put it in the right connection right here. And it should snug in like fit. You can move it around a little bit, it won't move. You can do the same thing with the other one. And now they are charging, which is beautiful. Now that's really pretty much it with the AirPods case. Now, if we look at the AirPods themselves, there's a little bit of a difference now with these AirPods versus the other ones. So if we look at these AirPods, we now have this little black thing at the back. These have a lot of new features built in, which is beautiful. And we'll get into those in a second. Now, if you look on the side of your AirPods, you will now see these cool little buttons. So these are essentially force touch buttons. We can configure them with our iPhone and you can do things like, you know, skip to the next song, accept or unaccept a phone call and so many different things. And I'll show you those in a second. Now, the way the AirPods are set up is essentially this is where sound comes from and this is where sound comes in. So what does that mean? Well, essentially, if you're playing some songs, the songs will output from here. But if you're ever taking a phone call, if you're ever recording a voice memo or whatever, your sound will come in through this way. So this is where a microphone is housed. And so you can go ahead and input your audio through these headphones, which is really cool. So that pretty much covers it up on these headphones. Now, in order to connect them to your iPhone, it's a very easy process. You want to make sure your AirPods are connected within the case themselves, just like so. And you may see that the front flashlight is actually blinking. So what you can do is you can go ahead and grab your iPhone like this and bring it close to your AirPods and they will automatically connect for you. Now, if you have an Android phone, if you bring them close together, you'll see nothing will happen, which is totally okay. All you have to do is make your way over to your settings application. You want to go under your Bluetooth connections. You can click pair new device. And if you see anything like AirPods or something, you just want to go ahead and connect to them and they'll pretty much be connected that way. So. In this case, we'll just finish it off with our iPhone. So all you have to do now is go ahead and click continue and they will automatically connect. And it will literally take one second for them to connect. And after that, as soon as you see this, you'll see you'll start kind of being able to configure some things. So it says media control, whatever you can go and configure it if you want to. Set up Siri, you can set it up for this time. I'm just not going to do it. You can have it, you know, if you want to announce calls and notifications, if you get a phone call or a text, announce it on your AirPods. In this case, I'm just going to go and just, I'm just gonna allow it. And then when you see this, you are pretty much done. Your AirPods are now automatically connected. You can go and click done. And you can also, I guess, share air audio now, which was something that I kind of forgot about. So in this case, we'll just kind of forget about it. If you ever see a prompt like this, it just tells you to hold the button on the back. So like we mentioned earlier, this one little button, the circular button on the back has a lot of capability and this is one of them. So go and hold it down until your iPhone actually configures it. 
and you will see that you were fully connected. And I guess we have to redo this again, which is totally okay. Click done. And a good way to kind of tell if your AirPods are connected is if you have a battery widget on your iPhone, such as this, you can also swipe to the side and swipe down and you should see a battery widget somewhere. If not, you can add it to your home screen. You can see that my AirPods are connected because it shows me my AirPods battery life and my AirPods case battery life. So now if you ever want to, so if you look, if we actually shut this case, sometimes it will actually go away and it's totally okay if that happens. It doesn't mean they're just not working. It just means you haven't like opened them up yet. So now if you ever wanted to connect your AirPods to your iPhone again, you may see something like this, but all you have to do now is go ahead and grab your AirPods your little thing like this and put it in your ear. And you may hear a little sound that comes up. It may say something like, you know, ding or something like that. And then all you have to do is pretty much play some music. Now, another great way to tell if they're connected is to make your way over to your settings application. You want to go under Bluetooth and you should be able to see your AirPods and they should be connected here too. If you ever want to disconnect your AirPods from your specific iPhone, it's very easy. You can just turn off Bluetooth or you can click on the connected option here and you can go ahead and turn them off here. But this brings us to a very, very important thing that I want to go ahead and show you guys for. So within our iPhone, this may be like this for some Android devices too. We can make our way over to our settings application. We can go and get under Bluetooth, which is right here. And we can go under AirPods, this little eye right next to AirPods, and you will start to see a bunch of different things that we can go ahead and configure. So you will see automatic ear detection. You typically want to keep this on. So then once you actually put your AirPods in your ear, you'll be able to just go ahead and you know connect them instead of having to go to Bluetooth every single time. Connect to this iPhone, you can set it up to automatically if you'd like. Spatial audio is another really awesome feature. If you go ahead and click on it, it actually allows you to go ahead and kind of feel like you're in the middle of somewhere with this spatial audio feature, which is really awesome. I will make a video on my second channel. You can also read about this here further. That'll go ahead and demonstrate this. Under microphone, you can choose whether you want to automatically figure out which microphone you want to choose, or if you want to always choose a left AirPod or right AirPod for your microphone quality, you can go ahead and choose that. Optimized battery charging is something I would probably recommend you all to use just because it, you know, will save your battery health over time. You don't have to keep it on, but if you want, to, you know, your AirPods to last the longest, I'd recommend keeping this on. Now here are just basically some random peripherals, things like your model name, model number, different things like that. Your Apple Care, if you have it for your specific AirPods when that expires, and that's really pretty much it. Now you can swipe down all the way and click, click disconnect or forget this device if you want to disconnect your AirPods. Another way to kind of quickly disconnect your AirPods from your specific iPhone, sometimes if it doesn't work properly or if, they dis or if there's any other issues with your AirPods, a quick way to disconnect your AirPods that I typically do, if you open up the case and if you just hold it down, it should actually go ahead and disconnect. So if I go and hold it down like this, you may see that you can see it disconnected here. And if I go ahead and turn it over, you may see that my AirPods are now in pairing mode if this front flash is actually, you know, blinking. So now all you have to do, like we mentioned earlier, is to bring your AirPods close to another device like this, and you can reconnect them that way. Or if you have an Android device, you can also reconnect them that way too. So that's really pretty much it. If you're ever done with your AirPods, you can go ahead and close the flap, plug them into charge, and then that's really pretty much it. So that's typically how you can use your AirPods 3. I'm sure most of you know how to put them in your ear and how to go ahead and, you know, play music and different things like that. But those are the small little things. By now, you should be an expert, at least, of the AirPods 3s. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.